Yes. We are eating vegan hamburgers and listening to a band play corn in Mexico. That's exactly what's happening right here. What's your burger made of? I don't even know. We don't know. But it's a patio. It said lentil moron. That's what it said, which is not a Spanish word. It must be... It's a French word for slow moron. <laughs> it must be um, a Mexican word. So we don't know, but we know it's vegan. Over here, this is the vegan cart. What's it called, Drew? It's called Tacos... Say it again. Tacos Gigante. Taco Double O. Double O. Taco Gigante. Where's it at, Drew? Right across the street from the Expactorio. Mm -hmm. And they got a meat one right beside it if you, if you prefer meat. If you want to know what you're eating. We do not have a, have a clue what we're eating. So where is it at again? Right across from the Museum of Art. Museum of Art. Oh, at the university. And one thing we've noticed is the increase in vegan food since we've been here. When we first came like four years ago, it was really just like La Flaca. That was it. And I think that was about it. And now we came back a year ago. And it was three places. Yeah. Everywhere. There's even a cart. This is a cart. And it's open till 4 a.m. 4 a.m. And, and people are now I'm trying to see what kind of this horrible song is. Uh, this is a band down the street. A metal band. They've not played any metal thus far, though. It's been pop. Pop rock. Um... Now they've got like signs and stuff up saying carne es muerte, meat is death. So there's a big vegan influx and a need for vegan food, which is great. Tell me, is it good? It's, yeah, it's great. Honestly, what we know about Mexicans is they were very meat centered, and now that they've got access to be good vegan food they're about it they're learning to love it plus they were a little gordo for a while because of all the cokes they drink so a little vegan food laying off the meat couldn't hurt them i say that with love mucho amore okay here's the menu some things don't translate so we really didn't know what we were eating would you be brave enough to eat something in another country if you didn't know what was in it? Let us know down in the comments. Okay, we were wrong. Taco Gigante is the meat one. And what were they called again? This one was called Alimentos Veganos. Alimento Veganos. But I believe... You can tell that the girl right there, along with this gentleman right here, are our siblings. They look exactly alike. So I think I think it's a family. Um, also, when you get stuff from the vegan cart, you pay the dude over here. So I think they work together. They got cookies too, galletas, and some sort of weird chocolate Twinkie. And drinks. <laughs> and a station to dress your tacos. We got a dessert. It's called, what was it called? Vegancito. Vegan, say it like she said it. Vegancito. Vegancito. We don't know what it is. I it think looks it's like a, a brownie. It feels like a Twinkie. <laughs> Hurry up. This is really, I told you it was like a Twinkie. Drew's upset that people are begging around him right now. No, they're not. You don't want to get begged from. Right, look at me, give me that. It was a Twinkie, wasn't it? It's a vegan Tito. <laughs> it's a Twinkie. Oh, Is it vegan? Oh, you better not take half of my Twinkie. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you. 
Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We've got lots of videos about the food here in Guadalajara, and you can see them all on our YouTube channel at The Adventures of Drew and Amanda. And don't forget, your time is valuable. Get out there and go on some adventures.